Let's head over to the Becker kitchen to see what Mark is making this morning. A lot of kids at home today because teachers are on strike, Mark. Yeah, so that's what it. Are we make? What are we going to make today? Right, this is a great one for the kids to uh, help with in the kitchen. Brilliant. Right, so we've got a fish dish, a classic Italian dish, a piccata. Oh, piccata. So we're, we're going to lightly coat it in a little bit of flour, pan fry it so it goes nice and crispy, and then make a really simple sauce around it. A bit of butter, a bit of wine, some capers, mm. uh, lots of fresh parsley. And then we're going to, uh, so that's Italian. Yes. We're going to bring it back to New Zealand, and we're going to do a sweet potato pancakes. Nice work. Okay, mm. sounds fascinating. And I've just found um, capers, one of my new favourite things at the moment. Have you only so just discovered them? Well, I didn't used to like them, but oh, now okay. I do. I'm right into them. So we'll get cracking with this very soon, and you'll get the recipe a little later the show. Now we are back in the Beko kitchen and we're making piccata with market fish and a sweet potato pancake. Mark, what inspired you to do these two? Well, it's just a, you know, it's a simple dish. Uh, we can use the fish or we can use anything you want actually. Nice. Okay, good. Um, and then, uh, you know, bring it back to uh, New Zealand and uh, use the kumara, which is uh, oh, available now, beautiful. and make some pancakes. Okay, we're going to start with the pancakes. So what are we doing? That's obviously grated kumara. Right, so what you do, peel, grate the kumara, then put it in a cloth and then Ring it out. Ring it out. Okay, cool. Oh, you, can, you can do that. Okay, Use the thanks. same bowl. And get as much um, liquid out as you can. Okay, and uh, okay. does it matter what colour kumari you use? Uh, I think the orange one's really good, but I mean you could use any one you, anyone you want. This is right. probably the closest to sort of like a traditional sweet potato. So I mean look at all that, look at all that juice. It doesn't look that wet. <laughs> um, it is. But it's yeah, like you, you need to give it a real good ring. Keep going. Keep going. It's like a gym workout, isn't it? <laughs> This is a new introduction to the Jets <laughs> service soon. You get to ring right, out kumbara. Fine. It's good food for people that work out kumbara. No, it's good and it's, and it's really healthy and it's a different way of doing it. I've been making lots of pancakes recently. Okay. Right, so that goes in a bowl. Look. Yep. All right, so we can get rid of that. Uh, I've got a little bit of garlic just chopped up. That goes in. Okay. Um, I've got an egg. So you crack one egg into there. One egg. Uh, and then you can give it a good stir or you can uh, get your hands in there and mix it all up. You know, great for the kids. The kids will love doing this. Uh, and then I've got an onion as well, which I'm just going to slice. And then we need a really good amount of salt and pepper in there. And then I've got a little bit of flour as well, just to bind it all together. And then that's pretty much our batter for the pancake. So full of texture. Just take also, that out of there. Now, and piccata, I mean, we're doing the pancakes now, but we're going to talk about the piccata soon. So that's um, a word I don't often hear in cooking, but after a bit of research worked out, it's Italian for annoyed. So it's basically sautéing <laughs> meat. And any piece of meat that goes in a pan, I'm, I'm sure well, is annoyed, it's, it's, aren't they? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. So was it, we, we, we uh, found out it was thin slices thin to sauté. Thin slices, saute. yeah, sautéed. Um, Italians use veal mainly. A huge in America piccata with chicken, sort of like a chicken snitchel. Yeah, so it is a bit schnitzely, but instead of like panne in it, you know, so we normally get the uh, the flour and then the eggs and then breadcrumbs and you build that sort of nice batter so you get that yep. crunchy batter. Um, it's even simpler than that. So you can do this with straightforward flour if you want. Um, or I've got some almond flour here. Oh, okay. Or even almond meal, you know. If, yep. you, if you're not allergic to nuts, this is a great alternative. You know, it gives it a little bit more flavour, especially with the fish. So just a little bit of salt and pepper in there. And then I've got the fish. So this is some hopoka, it's on the bone, so you can take it off the bone and use any fish you want. Uh, blue cod's really good, snapper's good, anything anything you've got. And then just pat it into here. Okay. And just make sure it's all covered, you know, and then sprinkle a little bit on if it looks a bit um, sparse. Give it a nice pat. And then I've got a pan. Well, should have had a pan on. And is this is this what we're doing for the pancakes? Yeah, that's what we need to, to do for the pan really? pancakes. So nice and quick. I've got a pan on here, so cool. we'll get some oil. Well, I did have a pan on there. We'll warm the pans up, we'll and then the once they're warm, up. all you want to do <laughs> is uh, just a nice, a nice spoon. Yeah. And you can, you can, you know, because it's not too wet, so you can shape it in your hands. And then you want to pop it in, and then really push it in, and then nice sort of medium to sort of high heat, and uh, just in a little bit of oil, and get them nice and crispy. Nice bit of colour on one side. Flip it over. Take about two, three minutes on each side. As you're doing the pancakes, we'll do the fish as well. Brilliant. This piece of fish, the same, two, three minutes on each side. Um, mm. We're going to get that starting to colour now, and then we'll whip the fish out, rest it, and then we're going to show you how to make this really fast sauce. So it's a really, really fast, uh, tasty dish. Nice work. Thank you so much, Mark. OK, piccata time. Things are sizzling away nicely here, Mark. The fish is on, the hapoka, and these very simple but tasty pancakes are cooking nicely. So ready That's to turn. It, so We've just packed Brilliant. them down. Look at that beautiful colour on there. Nice bit of crispness on there. It's been about two, three minutes. Same again on the other side. And you can just keep doing that. Okay. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't probably put more than four in that pan. 
and just keep doing it, you know? They, they'll stay warm, you can keep them in a warm oven until they're ready, but it's nice. so fast. All right, let's have a look at our fish now. So you see we're getting that nice golden, sort of really light, fine crust on there, and then the almonds as well, you know? It just gives us an extra little bit of flavour, which is really nice. So for those that just joined us, we're using Harpoker and you coated it with, it with nothing but almond flour. Just an almond flour. Nice. Or even an almond meal if you haven't, eaten, if you haven't got the flour, you know? And you just get the nice texture, nice flavour in there. If you're allergic to almonds, you can just use a bit of um, flour. Okay, cool. You know, keep it keep it nice and simple. Nice work. Um, and so it will not take long, especially doing fish or nice thin uh, slices of meat as well. And then all we want to do, nice colour on both sides for about three, four minutes, depending on the thickness of your fish. If it's thinner, it will be really, really fast. Um, and then we take it out, we rest the fish, and then we make the sauce. So I'm going to take this fish out now. It's still a little bit under. But I'm just going to show you how to make this sauce. Okay, great. So what we can do is um, we'll just tip a little bit of this out. <laughs> so you can do it all in the same pan. So you want to use all the flavours in there? Yeah, we've got all the flavours in there. A couple of knobs of butter. Let mm -hmm. that melt. I've got a shallot, which I'm just going to slice nice and fine. Nice. And we just want to sauté that shallot just for a minute in the butter. And because it's nice and fine, it will just soften. So important part now, you want the butter to be foaming. So we've got the heat lowered. We don't want that butter to burn, okay? That's just gonna soften the shallot. It's gonna start turning like a little bit nutty, light brown color, that's good. That gives us lots of flavor. Capers, I'm gonna pop the capers in now. So as you said before, you just discovered these, or you didn't. You never used to like them, but now you, now you like them. Well, no, I never I had them very often, but now that I have, I'm starting to really enjoy them. <laughs> Capers on just about everything nowadays. No, it's, re it's really good. They're really, you know, salty, um, sharp, and it's really good, you know, in pasta as well, you can pop them in. That was a little bit of white wine goes in there. Just um, deglaze it so everything comes off the pan. Um, bring it up to the boil so all the alcohol's gone. I'm gonna put a splash of lemon juice in there now. And then, oh, it smells so good. So you can see you've got you've got a little bit of liquid in there. You know that is full of flavour. And then a couple of knobs of butter in here now. And this is what's called monteing. Monteing. So we take it off the heat. We've got enough heat in the pan and the sauce, and we're just shaking it. Yeah. Okay. And that's slowly melting in, and that's just going to richen and thicken the sauce. And all we need to do now is add the fish back into the sauce glaze it around and uh, serve it with our pancakes. And how and long are you going to get that fish ready in that sauce, you reckon? Another well, couple of minutes, I mean, a minute? Yeah, we should have cooked it probably another minute or two. Okay. Um, so mm. when, you, when you take it out on the board, it should be pretty much cooked. It's resting, and then you can just pop it back in and serve. And then a little bit of roughly chopped uh, flat leaf parsley in there, and there you go. Just nice give, it a, give it a taste, and uh, job. Jobs are good and pancakes are there. Job Fish is, is good there. and all right. This is smelling fantastic. Look good work, Mark. Look at that. Brilliant. Um, okay, Mark, how's your fish looking? It smells incredible. It is looking good and just oh, finished yeah. it off with that beautiful Ooh. sauce. A little bit of lemon and it's all ready to go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Delicious. Look at that. Yum. Smells incredible. Looks incredible. Nice and easy. What are you doing tomorrow? Right, tomorrow I've got baked parmesan nuggies. Ooh. Nuggets. Good nuggets. Good nuggie.